Hello everyone. It's quite happy to continue to make my promise. I have promised that to finish the HSK thread, the explanation of workbook. And it's already one year, right? I haven't uh, updated the content. So first I have to explain what happened during the last uh, one year. It's just uh, during the last time of my holiday, so last uh, last July, when I went back to China and to my city, and I have I have made my love, uh, and uh, we stay together for forty days, and later I went back to Chile to continue my work there in the Confucius Institute. And uh, we separated for 284 days, and we had an international romance. And actually, it's not a romance that um, I spent a lot of time and energy try to keep good relationship with her. So I have to give up something. And also during that period, and I got my examination of Spanish, and this is my certificate of daily. So pay uno. It's quite lucky I passed the examination. And later, when I went back to China, and I engaged with my girlfriend, and now my wife, and uh, we also registered in the government. It's quite important. We should, we should be listed by the friends and our relatives and also got the protection of the law. Yeah, very important things. So this is why I stopped to update my video. But now um, I'm back and hopefully uh, I could make my words to finish the explanation of HSK3. Okay, today we are going to lesson seven, and the title here, 我跟他都认识五年了. So the first verb, actually it's not a word, the word very important here is 都, uh, uh, sorry, it's 都 here. So we have learned this word before as total, like in total, uh, or I want all these things, 都. But when I work, uh, but when this word worked with le, do le, this word uh, together more like phrase. It's much more like the word already in English. So here, 我跟他都认识五年了, is I have known her for five years already. So this is much more like emphasize, and uh, also in a formal way we can substitute this word with 已经. But in oral speaking language, we prefer to use do. And normally, when we use do and le together, it's it's emphasized something already happened in the past. And uh, just uh, just uh, we have to uh, keep an eye on this because this is much more like phrase. It's different from the do we learned before. Okay, so uh, section one, listening, and first part, same as before. So check the pictures here before we going to uh, before we start to listen to the audio. And when, while you are uh, watching these pictures, just trying to remember the words we have already learned and some new words we've learned in this lesson. And uh, picture D always the Example, so we have just to delete, delete this photo first and picture A. So, this is a foreigner, yeah, to our Chinese, he's a foreigner <laughs> and he's a man, right? And he's, he's in suit, and so definitely he's going to work and he's watching, he's watching his watch. So, it's something about time and about work. So the new word in this lesson we have learned is 迟到. So 迟到. 到 is arrive, right? And 迟 indicate late. So uh, 
We have learned late before as a one, right? It's quite late, and uh, the difference between one and chi is like one is it's just the, according to the day, the daytime. And chi normally there is a schedule. We have to based on that schedule we are late. And uh, for chi dao and wan dao, um, sometimes um, formally we will say chi dao, and uh, sometimes when you try to explain something why you come late, you can should you could use wan dao. It sounds not that um, negative. Sounds more neutral. So A uh, definitely something about work and about to be late, and B. So two people they are hiking. So pa shan right, uh, more uh, or trekking. I'm not that sure, but one is helping each other. So bang zhu no bang the words we have learned. And C this guy he's working and working his his work actual time. So jia ban right. And he's very tired, so lay the word we have learned, and the shui jiao sleep, right? And just to, um, just to keep an eye on this word. So shui jiao shui is verb, and jiao is a noun. So this is more like phrase, but we use that too many times in the day life. So later this phrase become uh, <coughs> become a word. But just to pay attention is verb. And now, and the E, so this guy is watching, is reading, reading newspaper. So, 报纸 right, newspaper, and 读报纸 to read, right. And F, F, this is guy. They are shaking hands. So normally, these are the, this is the first time they meet each other. So the new words we learn in this lesson, in this lesson, 欢迎 right, 欢迎 welcome, and normally. They will say, "Ah, 很高兴认识你 It's very nice to meet you." Ah. Okay, so I'm going to check the check the script of the audio. So the first one, "Ah,、呃、你看看，只有半个小时了，快要迟到了 So keywords here, 迟到 right? So 迟到啊 definitely the A right. And the second one. 你都睡了十几个钟头了，快要迟到了。And the man, man reply with, 我想多睡会儿，太累了。So the keywords here are two. First one is 睡 to sleep, right? And the 迟到 to be late, right? 快要什么什么 ，it's going to be. So actually, it's not. It haven't happened, but going to be. And man said, 我想多睡一会儿。I want to sleep a little bit more, right? So 多睡 So normally in Chinese language, uh, 我想多睡一会儿 So 会儿 at here is from 一会儿 but sometimes in our speaking language, we could in short just 会儿 because we prefer the um the the, the two syllable words and 多睡一会儿 So 多吃多睡多 before a verb normally indicate to do that action more. With longer time, and Thai ladies, I'm quite tired, so it could be a little bit confused if you only heard 迟迟到 in the audio. But if you catch this word 睡 it's quite clearly we should pick C, right? So the second one C, and later、uh, to female. So they said 你慢点儿走 so 走 Work. We have learned the. We have learned a phrase or word in this lesson. 走路 right? By work, to work, or by foot. 你慢点儿走 So 慢 slow. 点儿 and here is a compliment. So 慢点儿 slow a little bit to work. And the and the other female side. 刚爬了几分钟 So 爬 this just from the climb climb. 爬爬山 right? So remember this word, 爬山 Ah,、uh, so it's because 爬 is a verb and 山 is a noun, so they can be separate. We just use 爬 to to indicate, yeah, especially when the context when the context 
is all the situation is quite clear. We are climbing the mountain. So I said, we already climbed for several hours, and you know we are climbing the mountain, but um, but we are not climbing, climbing the building or the skycrawler, and other things. And so this is the Chinese language. Sometimes it could be a little bit confused, especially when we only use the verb. And but when when the noun is quite clear. Normally we could omit omit now just to use the verb. And she she uh, she is going to see a little bit more words. 你就累了 And so we just climb for several minutes, and then uh, you you are you are, you have got tired. So gone at here just just like just here. So the key words here is 爬 and then is 走 So and these two female, so B, so third one we choose B. 第三个我们选 B. <coughs> and 第四个，呃，我都看了二十分钟报纸了。So 看报纸 ，so read a newspaper. And it's quite interesting. At here, this is also a grammar point here. So、um, this is complement of time. It's just after the verb. So just to indicate how long time we had to do that action. So I watched twenty minutes of news, and though here, I already, or I have read twenty minutes, I've read the newspaper for twenty minutes. How come I haven't come? So 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 how come Wait, wait, wait a few moments. Quietly, so quiet, what, 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 So the、uh, the first one, number four, we choose E, right? This is the we choose E, and the fourth, uh, definitely is going to be F, but we still have to check it. And it's two male, right? So the first guy said, 欢迎 so welcome. 你来我们银行 welcome to our bank. And the second guy said, 经理你好 so hello manager. And the same. Seems this guy has he's the higher rank and he's more like a manager and he's more like、uh, staff. So you can say the first guy said me. So seems he's much more higher his position, and the second guy said me. So he seems his lower position. So this kind of the words is、um, uh, it's 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 very common in Chinese language. So to show that.、Um, Just to indicate the respect, and it's not that useful in this level HSK three, but maybe in the HSK four and HSK five, the pragmatic things will be more and more important. So start from so from this level, you could to accumulate some words like this. And and the second guy continued to say, 我一定 so definitely 啊，好好工作 so 好好 so work I'm definitely I'm going to work very well so 呃，好好 right here 好好学习 we have learned this、uh, study well right so hard study so 好好工作 I'm going to study it's much more like I'm going to study hard 呃、uh, to work hard this is more like a promise something in the future. Okay, and so this one, the fifth F, right? 第五个我们选 F. Okay, and、uh, part two, 听句子判断对错 So listen to the、um, sentence and to judge whether it's false or true. So same as before, we have to read the we have to read the sentence before we are going to listen and try to mark some keywords which could be very helpful during during we listen to the audio. So number six, 第六个，他现在 ，so 现在 now 在银行 ，so at bank 上班 work right. He's work in the bank now. And the next one, so the per and so uh so number six, I think there are two words very important. Ah,、uh, 两个词非常重要。第一个是 time now， 现在 
Second one is the uh, where. So when and where very important. And number seven, uh, 第七个, 他们还要等, so Taman D high so still right. Yo at here is not mm, is not want, more like need. Tam so they still need to wait or they still have to wait. So pay attention to yao. Sometimes it's more like want, like wo yao coffee. This is much more like want. And it's more objective, uh, uh, sorry, it's more subjective things. But at here, Taman Hayo Deng Deng normally no one wants to wait, right? Everyone just wants when we arrive there, we can get what we want. So normally to wait is the subject is a, is an is an object situation. So when when Yo before Deng normally is need or have to. So this is a key uh, to figure out Yao is want or have to or need. Okay. Uh, so that here important words is dumb and hai yao dumb. So hai yao dumb normally indicates um, now they are they are already waiting for quite long time or a short time and they still need to wait in the future. So at here this is something about past, now and future. So this is the key things we are, when we are going to listen. In number eight, 他喜欢跟朋友一起去爬山. So 喜欢, no problem. Uh, 跟朋友, follow his friends or with his friends. 一起, so together, uh, 去爬山, so going to hiking. Okay, so important thing here is uh, 跟朋友, right? And then it's 爬山, right? 爬山, and 喜欢, enjoy, like, right? And number uh, number nine, Xiaogang在等人, uh, so Xiaogang Junior Gang, Zai Deng Ren, he's waiting for he's waiting someone, right? So Zai normally indicates is now, right? Now. And Deng Ren waiting for the other guys, right? So make sure he's waiting for an other guy, not waiting for his coffee or his main dish. And number ten, Di So this is a new phrase we learn we have learned this lesson. So Gan Xin so be interested. And normally it's to something. So in Chinese language we are uh, is uh, the the order of the words is a little bit different from uh, English. So English I'm very interested to something, but in Chinese it's like I choose something very interesting or not interesting. So the precision of the words a little bit different. So ta So here important words bu. So it's negative and the yu So to, to to what? To music, right? Okay, we're going to check the audio. And number six, uh, 第六个, 我是2010年开始工作的. So I'm starting my job in the 2010, right? 在银行工作了两年以后, so 以后, this is the new words we have learned in this lesson. So after, right? So 两年以后, after two years. So, so, so the expression of time is a little bit different from um, in Chinese language uh, or Chinese Mandarin. It's, it's also very different uh, from English. And actually, in, in <laughs> each language, the expression of language is a little bit different. Is but the order of the words uh, in Chinese is much more like time now than we use the after or before. So keep an eye on this. And Lai Dao so so come to uh, came to this company. So and the and the idea or statement here is Ta Xian Zai Hang So it seems he's already transferred to this company. So Xian Zai it's it's fourth, right? It's just the two years um, it's it's in the two thousand and ten to two thousand and twelve, right? So this is force. Uh, so at here we, we have heard this word dao, right? So as I has as what I have said before, normally when we say wan dao, it sounds not that uh, negative and it will be more soft. Uh, normally it's just that when we need to um 
when, t when we need to comfort someone, we use this word. And also sometimes when we are going to be late, uh, we will say, ah, 对不起, 我晚到一会儿. So this sounds more politely or more soft. <laughs> so 迟到 is more formal and also a little bit, um, sometimes it's a little bit negative, right? So 飞机可能 possibly, and this is also pragmatic things we can use in our daily life. So 我可能 possibly I will be late for 10 minutes. So there are two words. First one we do, we have to say 迟到, and uh, then we use the words 可能 possibly. It's not definitely, but possibly. So so <laughs> so so this is just some pragmatic things. That's very useful. You could try to learn this and try to use these words in your life okay 您再等一会儿吧. so and here is the words important 您, right is is you but not um, but not it's it's just so this is in Chinese language you but it's just a, normally it's one person and not a group of person and so 您再等一会儿吧. so you use Still wait a little bit longer time. So the here word here are the words we have learned is 您. So normally when we say 您, it's indicated one people, and then, but I hear is plural, right? They say Z have to wait, but I hear is 您. And this word actually we can use this respect, uh, respect to you to indicate poor persons, but it's quite less time. So normally you could say 您们. It's quite last time we use 您们, but these words exist, and you can use that in daily life to indicate the uh, respect. Okay, so number seven is also wrong, it's false, because it's one person, not a group of person. And number eight, 第八个, 我对爬山不感兴趣, 爬山太累了, so this is just an, the phrase we have learned in this lesson. So now I'm not interested to hiking. Hiking is too tired. So 不感兴趣, it's not, not interested. So in another way, it just means he doesn't like. So you can build a link between these two words, 不感兴趣 and uh, 不喜欢, or 感兴趣和喜欢. And actually these words, um, in English level is not that um, same, right? When we say I'm not interested to that things, Maybe I never try that, but just not interested. So first you have got interested to something, and then you try to do that, and then you should, then you could learn something, got some experience, and you feel, mm, I like it, I enjoy that. So 感兴趣 is like the beginning level, beginning stage of, of to like something, to enjoy something. But when some people said that he's not interested to that things, normally indicate Actually, he's, he's just done like it. So this one, 喜欢, is definitely is wrong, it's false. So number eight, false. And number nine, 第九个, 小刚在门口站了一个小时, 小方也没出来. So 小刚, 中间刚, 在门口, so 门口, we have learned the gate of the building, right? So 在门口, 站, 站, stand, normally stand there to wait something, right? 站了一个小时, so stand for one hour, so a time complement, right, after the verb. And uh, here is another small point we have to um, we have to keep an eye. It's just the, uh, the verb, le, and the time noun. And this, this means, the this is a little bit different um, with the, like the verb, time noun, le, um, so verb, le, time, noun, normally is more like um, the action could already been done, already been finished, like 站了一个小时, so he stand there, he had stand there for one hour and already gone. But if we said he uh, 站一个小时了, so 站一个小时了, le at the end of sentence, it's, 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 this could mean the, the action has already been done for one hour, but it hasn't been finished. This action will be continued in the future. So 
pay attention to this uh, this difference of the order. Um, it could indicate the meaning and a little bit different. Okay, so 站了一小时，小芳 Junior 芳也没出来 ，so still year uh, still not come、uh, comes outside year. So、um, based on the situation here, so、um, it looks like he's waiting for Xiao Fang, right? So、uh, statement here, Xiao Gang 在等人 correct, right? He's waiting for Xiao Fang. Xiao Fang is another is another guy. So 第九个啊、uh, number nine, 对的啊，这个是 correct. 好，呃，第十个 number ten， 他已经八十多岁了，是吧？他已经八十多岁。You can see here, so 他已经八十多岁了。So at here we can substitute 啊、uh, ，已经 with 都 ，we could say 他都八十多岁了。It's totally same. It's just 已经 much much more formal, but 都 sounds more like our speaking language. And 可是 ，but right， 身体好，对吧 ？Is is 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 very healthy. 爱运动 ，enjoy sporting， 啊，还喜欢听年轻人唱的歌 ，and also enjoy the song which sing， 啊、uh, ，also enjoy listening to the song which sing by the 啊、uh, young young people， right， 年轻人。So this is another thing we have to pay attention. Just、uh, we have we will see this kind of the word、uh, phrase. So the noun and the so the in Chinese language this the By right, white with white here is more like English that or which, or sometimes it could be uh, uh, what uh, or other things. So normally this part, uh, the part before is which we used to describe the noun,、uh, the noun behind with more details. So. And here is like 还喜欢听 so also、uh, like to listen、uh, the song that young people sing or young people sing. So、uh, pay attention to this kind of the phrase because this part, the part,、uh, the part before could be very very long. Much、uh, much more like a sub sentence in English language. Okay, the statement here. He 对音乐不感兴趣 so he she's not interested to the music. But actually,、uh, in the audio we heard, she enjoy listening to the song, right? And、uh, so this is、uh, fourth. So number ten, fourth, right? Okay, keep going. Uh, part three. Listen to the short dialogue and choose the right answer, same as before. Checking the options before. So number eleven, 第十一个，打车 by taxi, right? And uh, pay attention. Die here is not like to hit. It's like to call something, to call a taxi, right? So 打车 this is also a verb and noun. And 坐公共汽车，公共汽车就是那个 bus, right? So by public、uh, transportation or by bus. So also verb noun. And 走路呃，走路，走 is also a verb. 路 is road, right? So this is also a verb and noun. All these, all these phrases, we can insert、uh, a a time phrase between the verb and noun to indicate how long do we do this action. Okay, so number eleven is definitely to ask.、Um, so we go somewhere, and the method of transportation. How we been there? By what? Okay, number twelve. 她病了 ，she sick. 她迟到了 ，she late. She be. Uh, she have been late. 她没去工作 ，she didn't go to work. And the definitely、uh, the question is, 她怎么了 ？What happened to her? So what's wrong? He, what with her? How is her right? And uh, uh, I thought the option A and option C、um, have more relationship because like. When someone is sick, normally they can't go to work, right? And、uh, number thirteen, uh, 看电视 watching TV, 运动 do exercise, 周末 weekend. And、uh, so option A and option B is uh, uh, uh actions, right? Uh, two actions, and action uh, and option C is a time noun. So 
the question is very important. So it's going to be asked a time or going to ask um, an action. Okay, 14, 同学, classmate, 同事, colleague, new words we have learned. Pay attention to this word. So 同学, 同 is much more like together. It's like the word we have learned before. So it's 一起, right? We have learned this word, 一起. So 同 is much more like the formal word of uh, 一起. So 同学, just the, the people who started together. 同事, so 事 is like, like the into. So 做事, like do something, do some into. So 同事, so like you work together, so 同事. And later we could learn another words with 同, like 同乡, like the people who from the same town, from the same country, uh, same country. And also we can learn another words with 同, so just the, just the build the link between these two words, 同和一起. And but, but in the all speaking words, normally we won't see these words. This word is quite formal, but just the no indicate each in formal language and 师生, 师老师, 生学生, student and teacher so number 14 is going to ask the relationship between the two guys in the audio and number 15 uh, 一会儿, a little bit of what, uh, a moment right 12 hours 很久, very long time so 久, this is like the word we have learned before so 长时间, like a long time it's the same as uh, 同, so this is like um, the express of of long time in a formal way, so we use 久, so 很久, just a 很长时间, very long time. Okay, so 15 um, is going to ask the, the period of time, so maybe they are doing something, and um, the question asks how long they have to do this thing, or how long they have to wait, right, kind of this question. This type of question. Okay, and okay, uh, we check the script of the audio. Uh, number 11, 第十一个, uh, 雨下的这么大, so, 雨下的这么大. so this is a word, uh, very interesting. We have learned, we have learned 下雨 before, right? I thought we have learned this one about weather, right? In HSK2. 下雨, 下 is much more like to down, to fall, so you, you rain. Uh, 下雨 is, is, is to rain, but in Chinese it's much like to falling rain, right? So 雨下的这么大, so this is the structure also the verb with the noun. So we could use the noun at the beginning as the subject, right? So and then the verb. So uh, 雨下的这么大, so the rain dropped such heavily. So 大 here is not like big, because in English you, you we always we always said it's it's heavy raining. So I hear "这么大" is more the heavy raining. So, but for rain, we said "大雨 xiaoyu, right? Small rain, soft rain, and the huge rain, right? And 你家离这儿太远了, so your home, so distant from here, 太远, too far away. 怎么办? How to do? 办, uh, so it's much more like the Chinese language to do. So 怎么办? How to do? And the uh, uh, it said, uh, 没关系, it doesn't matter. 我坐出租车, 半个小时就回去了. So I take the taxi, 出租车, uh, 半个小时, uh, half hour, 就回去了. And then I go back. So 就, I here emphasize, it's quite short time. Right? 就. And uh, this word is very, uh, and so in this conversation, um, so, Zhongban very useful. So how to do? <laughs> so sometimes when Chinese people meet uh, some problem, some question, and some situation we don't know how to do, we'll say Zhongban, Zhongban, how to do, how to do. <laughs> very useful, very use uh, sentence or phrase. Uh, and uh, and the question is 女的准备, so prepare, right? 怎么回去? How 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 uh, how how does she win? How does she go back to her? How does she go back, right? So, and here is, we have to know this word, 坐出租车, and also 打车. So, these are two phrases, same meaning, 坐出租车, 坐 is buy, right? 出租车, taxi, 打车, is also taxi. And also, we have uh, learned this word before, so 打的. I'm not sure if someone remember this phrase or not. So, 打的 is also like by taxi. 
So you can note down these three phrases. They, are, they indicate the same meaning by text. Okay, the number 11, 十一, 我们选 A, right? We choose A. 十二, uh, so the man said, 你哪儿不舒服? So you wear uh, not comfortable, not 舒服, comfortable. Uh, 不舒服, uncomfortable. So you wear uncomfortable. Where, where, where do you feel uncomfortable? And the uh, female replied, 白医生, Dr. Bai, right? So the man is a doctor, so definitely they are in the hospital. 他们在医院, right? Uh, 我头疼, 头疼, headache, right? 头, 头疼了一个星期了, so I hear, 出了. So, 出了 in the same sentence normally indicated by action, which, start, which started from the past, and continue to now and uh, haven't been finished and still going to con to be continued in the future. So pay attention to the structure. Uh, 都没去上课. So do at here is not in total. It's just that to emphasize this one week or this week. I I didn't go I didn't go to class. So it's emphasized. So do so this is much more like the title of this lesson. 我跟他都认识五年了. I already knew, I have already knew her for five years. So those sometimes in the sentence it's just emphasize or all the time. But normally, normally there is a link, there is a relation between do and the time or number. Okay. So do How to do? Right. So, and the question is, 女的怎么了? What's wrong with the lady? What happened to the lady? So she's sick, right? So the keywords here, 医生, right? And 头疼, headache. So uh, number 12, 12, we should A, right? We choose A. And 13, uh, 你周末喜欢做什么? So what do you like to do during the weekend? So 周末, 周末. So 周末, also we could say 星期六. 星期天, or 周六, 周天, right? So pay attention, this weekend is Saturday and Sunday. In Chinese language, we could say 星期六, 星期天, 周末. Okay, and the female reply, 我不爱运动, I don't enjoy sports, right? 周末就在家, 怎么样? So the weekend, just, so do at here, in France, that's more like just, 在家, at home, 看看电视, so just watching TV at home. And the question, 女的对什么? To what? 没有兴趣. So not interested. I have no interest. To what? Sport. Right? Sport. So the question is what? Is what? So 运动. Right? Sports. So we choose B. I'm not mistaken. Okay. And uh, uh, number 14. And, and number 14, uh, 男的, 今天的工作, so today's job, 我还没做完, so I still, I still haven't finished that, I still haven't accomplished, accomplished it. 你来帮帮我好吗? So you come, help me, so 帮帮, uh, so it's a duplicate of the verb, normally indicate it's not that difficult, so please, come and help me for a while, right? It's a short, it's, it's just do me a favor, it's very easy. So, 帮帮我,好吗? Okay. So, for asking, so ask someone to do a favor, you have to use some software word and be more politely. So, we use 好吗 here. Is that okay? Okay. And the reply is 行啊, okay. Uh, 不过, so, but, 到时候, 你要请我吃饭. So, 到时候, so, what, in, what indicate 到时候? So, to that moment, just like in the, just indicate in the future. So, but in the future, you have to uh, you have to treat me right. 你要, so you need 请我, so you meant me 吃饭, to to eat. You should treat uh, you should treat me with a meal. So so 到时候, 到时候, so to the moment to that moment normally that moment is in the future. So this phrase uh, you have to understand what that means. 到时候, this is a very common phrase in Chinese language. We use that in the daily life. Normally indicate some moment in the future or that moment. 
OK, the question, a 男的和女的可能是什么关系? Possibly uh, the relationship, what relationship between the man and female? So here, 工作, right, 工作. So 工作, normally call it here. So 14, we choose B. And 15, uh, 这是什么电影啊? So this is what movie? What is this movie? Uh, 我看了, so I watched 半天. So, 半天, pay attention to this word, 半天, uh, so, uh, literally, it means half day, but in the day life, in spoken language, when we say 半天, normally indicate a quite long time, a long time, a very long time, 就很长时间, or 很久, so, 我看了半天, I watched a lot of time, uh, I watched a long time, 也没看过, still haven't got, still, Still can't understand you, uh, just with 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 watching it. So, 我看了半天, so I watched the for a long time. Yet, a uh, may so so I haven't 看懂. So, 看 is a verb here, and 懂 is a complement, is a result complement. I watch it for quite a long time. The result is I haven't <laughs> I haven't understand. I didn't understand. Okay, uh, the reply, 很多人都是这样, so a lot of people, uh, 都是这样, just like this, so do, they are like this, right, 都是这样, uh, 这个样, this way, 你再看一会儿, so you watch, uh, you again, right, watch 一会儿, little bit, 就明白, then you will be understand, so action to action, right, so you watch a little bit moment, you watch a little bit well more, and then you will understand. So this is action one and action two, and linked by the two. And before and after the word, after the first verb, we have there is a time now, and then you will understand. So there we there is like a, like the like the uh, like the reason, or uh, or the step one and the result we want. And the question is, 男的看了多长时间电影? So how long, how long, how long did man watch the watch the movie? So here's the word very important. So 半天. If you if you don't understand this word, actually, what does what does it mean in our Chinese spoken language? You are going to choose uh, 12 hours, but actually it doesn't mean 12 hours. It means 很久. So 很长时间, quite long time, a very long time. So this is a pragmatic thing. And uh, 15, we choose to say. So take note of this very important. Uh, 半天, 半天. Okay, uh, part four. 听长对话选择是什么样? Listen to the long conversation and choose the right answer. Same as before, check the option first. 15, uh, 16. A, 欢迎男的来公司, so welcome the man come to the company, right? B, 要结婚了, so 要什么什么了, going to, right? 结婚, get married. So this is a new word in this lesson, 结婚, get married. So 结 is also the verb and the 婚 is noun. So we could say 结一次婚, so we marry one time, uh, 结两次婚, two times, three times. So between the uh, between the time, uh, verb and noun, this kind of the word, uh, this kind of the words, we could insert uh, a period of time, and also we could in, insert how many times, one time, two times, three times. So this is like the Chinese language and some grammar points. And see, 在迎接新同事, he's welcome the new colleague. And uh, actually here, uh, option A and option C are quite similar. So, 欢迎男的来公司, welcome the man come to the co company. 在迎接新同事, he's, um, he's waiting or he's welcome the new colleague. A and C are quite similar. And uh, whatever, the question must be asked, um, what are they doing or what is the lady doing? And number 17, a 等车, waiting for the vehicle, waiting for the autobus, and the B, 接人, to pick up someone. So normally this is in the transport transport center, like the airport, uh, bus station, or subway station somewhere, 
to pick someone and see my dong xian to buy something. So this these three actions uh, option A and option B normally happen in the same place. But not uh, 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 say normally in the supermarket, chao shi, right, or shang dian. So A and B have more um, possibility. And uh, 15, A, uh, yin hang, bank, B, shu dian, C, xue xiao. So ask the place, where does this action, where does this conversation happen? Okay, so we have checked the content of the conversation. Uh, number 19. A 唱歌, sing a song, B 吃饭, have a meal, C 看电视, uh, watch TV. So what are they doing? Or what they enjoy? What they are interested to do? Could be asking. And 穿戴, uh, A 电影, movie, B 运动, sports, C 音乐, something, right? What they are interested to. Okay, check the script. Uh, Number 16, uh, So I, next month, uh, get married. 到时候, again, to that moment, right? What moment? The moment of the wedding. 欢迎你来, will you come? Welcome you to come. 什么结婚? So what? Married. Uh, 突然吗? 突然, suddenly. Is that very suddenly? Uh, 其实, actually, right? In fact, uh, 我和我男朋友, 已认识已经五年了, so 已经五年了, already five years, so 已经 here, we can also substitute it to do. Okay, we don't have our speaking language. And 就是那天来公司接你的那个, so just is that day came to the company, 接你, to pick up you, 那个, that one. So at here, all made one word, the noun. So, 那个男人, right, that man. So, question, 关于女的可以知道什么? So, about the female, what could we know? So, she's going to marry, right? So, we choose B, 啊, 要结婚了. So, keywords. 十七, 为, a phone call, right? A very classic start, a start of a conversation on phone. 我已经等了半个小时了, I already waited half. Half hour. Then are where are you? So, so no, and uh, so definitely she's going to pick up someone. But we still have to continue to read the script. 我刚下飞机, so I just leave the I just leave the flight, right? I just quit the sport. Uh, 我穿着红衣服, I dress right clothes. 你呢? What about you? And the man said, 我穿着白裤子, I wear white trousers. 你看见我了吗? Have you seen me? 看见了, 看见了. Oh yeah, I got it, I see it. So, 男的在做什么? So, 下飞机, right? So, 等, so pick up someone, right? So, 必接人. Okay, uh, 18, 你为什么不在书店工作了? So, look at here. Changing of the situation, uh, why, uh, why do you stop to work in the bookshop anymore? The reply, uh, 那不是我喜欢的, that is not something I like, uh, 是什么什么的, emphasize, uh, 不是, important. Uh, 我在那儿工作了半年以后, uh, so after I have worked at there for half a year, 就来了这家银行, then I came to this bank. 好,现在的工作怎么样? So how about the work, uh, how about the job now? 很好, very good, 我很喜欢, I really enjoy it. Uh, question, 女的现在在哪工作? So, 现在now, 在哪, where? So, 在哪工作? 银行, right? So, we choose A, 银行. 19, uh, 我两岁大的儿子对音乐感兴趣, so I, 儿子, right? my son. And how old is my son? 两岁大, so two years old. Son. So based on this conversation, actually, I what we could know is um, this female, this lady, she has more than one child. So at here he emphasized my son, but which is two years old, doing interested to the music. Uh, 是吗? Is that 
你是怎么知道的 ？How How did you know it? And the reply is, ah,、uh, 电视上 on the television, 是吧？有人 someone 唱歌 sing a song. 啊，他也一起唱，对吧 ？He's also singing together. 啊，有时候 sometimes 大家在吃饭，他也唱。He also sings. 所以女的的儿子喜欢什么？喜欢什么？唱歌，喜欢唱歌 ，right？ 所、so, 以唱歌，音乐，音乐。So build a link. 唱歌 ，sing a song and the music. So this one here, ah,、uh, 唱歌 ，right? What we heard is just the directly the answer. So actually, the second,、uh, the first part, the long conversation, normally much more easier than the uh, set, uh than the third part, because this the conversation is longer, and、uh, the question could be much more easier. Normally, what we heard is directly the what the、uh, what the answer is. Number twenty, 祝你生日快乐 So wish you a、uh, happy birthday to you. Wish you happy birthday. 这个送你 So this uh gift to you. 什么 ？What? What is that? Ah,、oh, have here. Then you get ah surprise, right? 打开看看 ，open it and have a look. 音乐会的票 ，the ticket of the con a music concert, right? 音乐会啊，音乐会。会 is much more like a meeting. The meeting of music is just a music concert, right? 我太喜欢了 ，I really enjoy it. 谢谢你 ，Thank you very much. 所以女的对什么感兴趣？音乐，音乐会 ，concert. So, uh, number twenty, we choose C, right? 音乐。Okay, welcome to the second part, listening a、uh, reading section, part one,、uh, match the two parts of the same dialogue. So we check in the opt opt options first. 不行 it's, it's not okay. 要迟到 it's going to be late. 我要走 I have to go. So 我要走 I need to go. I want to go. Or more like I have to go. And、uh, so something about work, right? So 工作 And B, 我是新来的 As I'm freshman, I'm newly come. 刚工作三个月 just work three three months. So this also about work. And C, 刚十分钟 just just then ten minutes more in several ten minutes. 还有很远呢 still a long way to go, right? 还有很远 still very long, long far away. So this is like something about they are working, right? So 他们在走路 Or they are, or they are just、uh, moving, right? I'm not sure which which method they are using. And D, 我看看 let me have a look. 慢了半个小时，慢 so slow. And how long time? 半个小时 half hour. So this is a compliment. So 慢 as a verb here is more like late, but lated. So 慢了半个小时 so late for half hour. And、um, something based on the schedule, right? So maybe about transportation, you know, more about work, right? Not that sure. And E, 当然 of course. So 我们先坐公共汽车 So first we take the、um, bus, and 然后 then. So this word used very frequently. Is 先然后 first, and then or second. 换地铁 So 换 it here like switch, exchange, switch to the metro, right? It's a DTA subway, so it's about the transportation, and also about the plan, plan of the transportation. And F, 不太累 not that tired. 每个月的钱 so money of each month 也不少 still not less. So Chinese people will like to use the negative, negative indicate positive. So 不 not 少 less a few. So not、um, not less just means many or more. So negative negative normally indicate positive, and this is for also for emphasize is positive. Okay, this is、uh, some grand point or pragmatic things. Okay, twenty one,、uh, and also the e at here. This is an example, so we just delete delete it. And twenty one, 你在这家公司工作多久了 ？So 多久 ？Make sure this word, 多久？久 is like 长时间。So 多久 ？Just like 多长时间。So 多久？多长时间 ？So you take a note. So 久，长时间。多久 ？Just 多长时间 ？How long time? 
Okay, so two chang shi jian reply must count time now. So time now, sang ge yue, I'm fresh, uh, I'm new count, right? So just the three months. So 21, B. And 22, bie zhao ji, not in a hurry. Zai you yu hui ba. So you at here is not lu you, but you yong swim. Swim for, swim, swim for well more. And ba is suggestion, so not in a hurry. And reply, no, can't, I'm going too late, I have to go. So 22, A. Yeah. So normally, 着急 is something very urgent. Be late, definitely some situation very urgent. And 23, uh, 你为什么? So why do you or did you 选择 to choice, right? 在银行工作, so to work at a bank. So the reason, 不太累, so about work, so it's not that hard, and each month the money is not less. Okay, so 23 we choose F, 23选 F, and 24. 你们爬了多长时间上? So how long time? Uh, how long time have you climbed the mountain? Uh,刚十几分钟,还有很远吧,爬山, so hiking normally is a long way to go, so just a few, 10, 10 few minutes. So 24, 24, we choose C, and 25, 我的手表怎么, what happened to my watch? Um, and let me have a look, it's a little slower, uh, it's quite slow for half hour, so 25, choose D. So this part is much more like, um, it's, it's a test of how do we recognize this word, and do we familiar with uh, daily, uh, daily topic and also something about the, uh, the experience of their life so something like that okay to choose the proper words to fill the blanks mm, the e is just the uh, examples we did it directly so e chan as the noun is indicated the past and also could uh, locate it after uh, a time noun indicate after that moment after that point of time and but half right so normally uh, after indicate a half half an hour or twelve and a half this kind of that would normally work with number and cha is like uh is like the lack of something and to feel what so English will say um, it's it's ten to it's ten to it's ten to eight it's ten minutes and it's just the, like lack of ten minutes to eight to eight o'clock. In Chinese, we will say cha shi fen zhong ba dian. So lack of ten minutes to to reach eight o'clock. So cha. So normally in Chinese language, when we say cha, normally the number is after this word. So it's more like a verb. And jiu, we already learned with this word as chang shi jian, right? It indicates a long time. So normally duo jiu, hen jiu, fei chang jiu. So it could be, um, it could be attribute with an an or an an, adver an adverb of degree, and F 同时, this is called your time now, right? So twenty six, 小丽是我的, so 我的, 的 normally after the is a noun, so 我的同事 is my colleague, so twenty six F, and uh, 来这家银行, so come to this uh, bank, so this is an event or a uh, time point, so we could use uh, 以前, so 来这家银行以前, before I came to this bank, 我在两家公司工作过, I have worked in two companies, so 过 indicated experience, right, something in the past, so this is this is a phrase uh, right, to indicate the time, and 28, 我们每天早上八点上课, to have class, so this is the time point, and uh, A could be used at here, but it's already been used. And F couldn't be used. And uh, Cha normally, Jiu, Cha needs number, right? So Ba Dian, Cha Shang Ke. So Ba Dian, Cha, after Cha also need another an number. So C couldn't use here. D is this. This body and it doesn't make sense, right? So at here, so body and 
So 8 o'clock and a half. So 28, we choose B. And 29, uh, 一刻八点, the lack of one, one a quarter to eight. This is just the situation with this graph. So this one, choose C. Very, cl very classic express. You have to remember this one by your own. No more explanation. And number 13. So, 聊天聊了很, so this is a complement of time, so 很久, so D. Uh, okay, so 聊天聊了很久, this is very classical structure, so 聊天, so verb with a noun, and, uh, and when the verb noun need a complement, we have to repeat the noun one time, and then we could add the complement, 聊天聊了很久. So normally this situation is just to make clear what is the object. Liao Tian, we are chatting. Chatting what? Chatting, chatting libly, li libly. So there is some, there is, there is no certain, uh, certain subject to be or certain topics we are talking. But actually, we could see that woman Liao Lan Liao La So we are talking about basketball. And we're talking for a long time. So the full structure should be this. But when the subject or the topic is very clearly, we could omit this part, just to use the verb and the, and, and the complement in the context, in the uh, conversation. OK, uh, third part to choose the right answer. So as before, uh, this level, uh, the paragraph of the, is quite short, and we could read the paragraph first. But my suggestion is, as we should have a good reading habit, we should always read the question or the statement and options first. So I hear uh, Tadanyuar, her doctor, her daughter, sorry, 喜欢音乐, like music, 不喜欢听歌, doesn't like listen to the song, and Liu is six years old. And option A and option B um, are just um, are just opposite, so there there must be the correct there must be the correct answer between these two. So ta de nu are so we choose the nu are so nu are right at here. 对音乐感兴趣, so very interested to music. So she want right she likes. So okay. the rest of the part no necessary read more. But this is an explanation, so I'm going to read further. 她不高兴的时候, so when she's unhappy, she's unhappy, 唱歌给她听, sing song to her for, for listening, 或者, or 让她听听音乐, let her listen to the music for a while, so for relax, right? So 一会儿, a few moments, 她就笑, a while, a short while, 她就笑, she will be, she will smile. She just smiled. Okay, we choose A. And 20, uh, 32, 我, so I, 现在住在北京, now I lived in Beijing, 现在不住在北京, so A and B, outside, so definitely from, between A and B. So 我在北京住过十年, so I have lived in Beijing for 10 years, and the key words here, 过, indicate experience. So now the situation has changed. She, he has lived in Beijing for 10 years, but now definitely is not, right? This is just logic, so B. And 吃了不少北京菜, I ate, it, I ate it a lot of Beijing dish. 学了不少北京文化, started a lot of Chinese culture. 现在都还记, now still remember. So memories, right, already gone. Okay, so we choose, so now it's not, I'm not in Beijing. And number 33, uh, 33, 我妹妹喜欢 my, <coughs> Uh, my junior sister, Xihuan, enjoy, right? 唱歌, sing a song, 踢足球, uh, 画画. So this is much more like stereotypes, but I have to, still have to see this, this, uh, this thing, this thing. I have to just let you know the situation. Because based on the traditional Chinese culture, the female mm, are not that sportive. Normally they enjoy the, they enjoy the indoor Activities like singing, singing, painting, or playing music, music, uh, playing music, uh, uh, instrument, this kind of things, and so um, B 
according to the traditional culture is not that is not correctly, but now the situation is changing. So here, 我妹妹不喜欢 she doesn't like uh, 画画 painting singing sound. So she doesn't enjoy this. So definitely B. Okay. So 只对 so only interested to the play, playing soccer. And 她会踢足球 she know. How to play football, playing soccer, yeah, I and also enjoy watching football game, right? So thirty-four. Ah,、uh, 以前中国人结婚丈夫 So 以前 at here, um, is in the begin is at the beginning of the sentence. Normally, it it indicate part in the past. So 中国人结婚 So in the past, when Chinese people getting getting、uh, when Chinese people were getting married. 丈夫 husband, so keywords here, ah,、uh, 丈夫 and、uh, a 对妻子不感兴趣 not interested to the to to the wife. Well, an interesting sense, right? Ah,、uh, 以前就认识妻子 um. So before they met, and and here this 以前 they came before the、uh, wedding ceremony. Ah,、uh, they already knew each other. And say, 结婚那天 so the day of the wedding, 那天第一次见到妻子 the first time, ah,、uh, she, uh, he knew, he knew his wife. Okay, this is also some, um, this is also something about、um, traditional culture, because um, if you have if you have read some books, you will know in the past, ah,、uh, especially before the Republic of China. Before the before the nineteen eleven, and before the Republic of China, or also frankly speaking, before the People Republic of China, before the nineteen forty nine, and the, the traditional culture is like the 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 wedding, the marriage were was decided by the parents of the two side, and there will、uh, there was.、Um, There was a guy who is a matchmaker. We call them Mayer matchmaker. So he will introduce the two family, and、uh, because normally this guy he has a lot of resources of the of of the information of the single 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 young people, and、uh, he will do the job like like they introduce the two family, which which from his side, which from. His view, and the young guy and the young young lady, they are they are good. They will be a good couple. Or based on the situation of the true side of the family,、uh, this marriage will be. Or we with in Chinese people, we would like to say 门当户对 is like the two sides, the fin, especially the financial situation, are、uh, equalized. So,、uh, so the there will be <laughs> most of the situations like the,、uh, especially for the big families, in the, or we say the rich rich people,、uh, the man won't meet、uh, his wife before the day of the wedding ceremony. So this is why、um, we have this short paragraph and this question. So that here he said, uh, 以前中国人结婚时男女都不认识 right? So the B 以前就认识 definitely not correct and not interesting. It's not that logic, right? And so if you know this this background information, you could choose that directly. Just to say, uh, so so the first time he meets his wife, it's just the day of this wedding ceremony. <laughs> Very interesting things, but already became the past. And、uh, we don't think this is something that good because, especially now we have the liberal liberalism, right? With the development of the society,、uh, people shouldn't dominate his own feet, right? The thing is more like this. Okay, and thirty-five.、Uh, um, 我觉得找工作的时候要看 So I think 找工作的时候 The moment of looking for a job, searching for a job, 要看 need to need to consider it or need to watch, need to look, need to think. And here, 看 is not like much like the crawling to something. It's crawling to something, but not to look to see. Okay, a 公司给多少钱 The company, how much they pay for the company, right? They they pay me. 
，喜欢不喜欢 ？Enjoy or not？ 啊，工作时间是多少 ？So the working time. How long is the working time? Okay. So 我觉得 ，So I think very important. So we just looking for this word. 我觉得 ，So 我觉得找工作的时候 ，not here. 啊，兴趣第一 ，the interest first. So what is 兴趣 ？Just this. You like it or you not like it? So 兴趣 is always have link with 喜欢。In this book, in the examination, but in the daily life, it's not like that. But for past the HSK three, build a link between these two words. Okay, this one we choose B, and、uh, we read this paragraph、uh, slowly. 很多年轻人说 lots of the young people said, 不知道 don't know 怎么找工作 how to find a job. 啊，总觉得 always think 自己的工作不好。So his own job is not good. 有的人 some people 都工作了好几年了 have already worked 好几年了 so several years, so many years. So 好几年了 so 好几个小时了好几个小时好 at here is much like more many. Uh, this is uh, this is a common expression in the Chinese language with to indicate so many years, uh, so many times, so many hours, so many. Minutes, okay. It's not something about good. <laughs> okay, 钱也不少 money also not less. 但还不知道 but still don't know. 喜欢做什么 what they like to do. So 我觉得找工作时候 so I think when we looking for a job, 兴趣第一 the the interest is the first place. 怎么能把钱放在第一呢 So how could we put the money on the first place? Or so this is the. Very interesting paragraph. Okay, uh, writing part, uh, writing section, part one, 连词从句 So rearrange the words to make sentences. So number thirty six, ah,、uh, 唱歌 These normally two words together, but we said verb and noun. We could insert a phrase about time or times. So, ah,、uh, 两个小时 two hours. 我们 So the common mistakes is,、um, you will give a sentence like 我们唱歌两个小时了 Uh, it also makes sense and、uh, is in the in the oral speaking language is correct. But more better is 我们唱两个小时歌了 So 我们啊、uh, 唱两个小时歌了 This arrangement is more better. Okay, and thirty-eight. Uh, so 什么感兴趣，对吧？感兴趣 be interested. 你，对吧 ？So 你 ，so you to what, right? 对什么 to what 感兴趣 So, um,、mm, pay attention to the order of the of of this sentence of this type of sentence. So be interested to something in Chinese is to something be interested. So 你对什么？感兴趣 This is a question. So better when you're going to write a sentence, always remember there you need the symbol, you need a comma. Okay, or full stop. Don't forget to write these these symbols. Okay, and thirty eight. Ah, 以前 so before right, 银行 bank 在啊，我工作两年了。Um, so I think this is the sentence just from the from the text of this lesson. Uh, the situation is uh, sentence should be a、uh, 我啊、uh, 以前哦、oh, 以前我 these two words could be changed because the time now. Could appearance in in the beginning of the sentence also could be experience. Ah,、uh, sorry. Uh, after the subject, so before the subject or after subject. Ah,、uh, there not there are there is no that much difference. Okay. 我以前啊在啊银行啊工作了两年。Okay, and in this sentence, we can't say 我以前在银行工作两年了 So 
number six and number seven can't be changed because this are here is that some situation in the past so this event already been finished already been done so couldn't be continued in the future but if we if, if in this sentence there's no this word yichan so we could say 我在银行工作两年了 so I have already worked in the bank for two years and this situation could be continued in the future but there is yichan so it's some event in the past it couldn't be continued anymore. Okay, it's already been done. Okay, number 39. Uh, so, same situation, right? So, Dian Shi Kan, and there is a time noun. So, must be a verb, time, and noun. And we need subject at the beginning, and also le, right? So, there is two le, so one le at in, um, after the verb, and another le in the end of the sentence. So this uh, this sentence should be arranged like this. Didi can le sanga jung to dian shi le. Okay. And number fourteen, same situation. So there is the time now. So at the beginning of the sentence, before or after the subject. So this could be rearranged. Doesn't doesn't make much difference. Okay. And uh, Ting Yue listen to the music, and there is a time now. So between these two and the uh, end of the sentence. Or or after the verb. So the difference is, uh, if we put the if we put the le at the end of the verb, it just de describes the describes the, this event which happened in yesterday. But if we put le at the end of the sentence, it's just the uh, it's just to indicate this situation and have changed. And maybe before I didn't listen to any music, but yesterday. I already listened to the music for several ten, for ten the several minutes. So today I just don't want to listen to it anymore. So um, just to be aware of the at the end of sentence. Normally it indicate the change of the situation. So this sentence same. So 昨天我听了十几分钟音乐. That's correct. And also we can say 昨天我听十几分钟音乐了. Little bit different. The second one, the end of the situation, is indicate the change of the situation. Is 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 situation in the past? Something happened in the past, and also indicate some the the situation have changed. Okay, and uh, I'm not going to explain the second part and the third part. And some students have some students have asked me why because this part. Just the words from the from the text, and I can tell you ah this this stroke is should be longer. This stroke be, should be shorter. This is just a, some some work you have done by your own, and the difference between the similar words. It's also some wor work you have to done by yourself. Even I tell you ah pay attention to this part is a little bit different. There is something more. If you can remember this thing. It doesn't make sense, right? So, for the character part, mostly you have to work work by your own to spend some time, you know, to spend some time. Practice make perfect. Okay, and the review, uh, very interesting part. If you have the time, you should also these words just from the text. So try to do it by yourself. Okay. Okay. So see you next time. Uh, next time we're going to the lesson eight. Okay, see you later.